Hi! In this video, I will be teaching you how to perform Gauss Jordan elimination using Python. So in this example, let's consider example 2.15. So a biologist has placed three strains of bacteria, denoted by 1, 2, and 3, in a test tube where they will feed on three different food sources, A, B, and C. Each day, 2,300 units of A, 800 units of B, and 1,500 units of C are placed in the test tube, and each bacterium consumes a certain number of units of each food per day, as shown in the table below. Now the question is, how many bacteria of each strain can coexist in the test tube and consume all of the food? So we have here a table. So this represents the amount or the unit uh, a certain strain consumes a certain food. So for example, strain 1 consumes 2 units of food A, 1 unit of food B, and 1 unit of food C. Strain 2 consumes um, 2 units of food A, 2 units of food B, and 3 units of food C. Whereas strain 3 consumes 4 units of food A, 0 unit of food B, and 1 unit of food C. So how do we convert this table into a systems of linear equation? So let x1 be the number of strain 1 bacterium, x2 will be the number of strain 2, and x3 will be the number of strain 3. With that, if we want to know how much food does each strain in totality consumes, we have to multiply the number to this number here, the, the amount of food uh, which each strain consumes by how many um, bacteria are there in that certain strain. Therefore, we can translate this one to 2x sub 1 plus 2x sub 2 plus 4x sub 3. So this sum here represents the amount or the total unit of food uh, or the total unit of uh, consumed food A for the three strains. So for food B, we have x1 plus 2x2 plus 0x3. So I will not write it here because 0 times any number is equal to 0. And finally, for food C, we have x1 plus 3x2 plus x3. Now we know that 2,300 units of food A will be served for each or for for this test tube. So this will be equal to 2,300. Whereas this one is equal to 800 units. And this one is equal to 1,500 units. Therefore, we have now the systems of linear equation. And we can now solve for the values of x sub 1, x sub 2, and x sub 3 using Gauss-Jordan elimination. Now, we can convert this one into an augmented matrix in Python. So to do that, let's go to Python. Before we run everything, let's try to um, run these uh, libraries. Let me just enlarge this. Now let's create a matrix, say matrix B, using the NumPy array function here so we have three rows so we have to create three brackets inside this bracket for the first row the elements are 2 2 4 and 2300 2 2 4 and 2300 next row we have 1 2 0 and 800 so 1 2 0 and 800 and for the last row we have 1 3 1 and 1500 one, three, one, and 1,500. 
So we run this code. And we can see it here. Now in Python, um, we cannot create the the actual augmented matrix because it's a limitation. However, we can imagine a vertical line drawn here so that this matrix is not the usual matrix but the augmented matrix. Now let's perform elementary row operation so that we can uh get or compute the the reduced row echelon form of this augmented matrix so let's run first all these uh functions let me just um show to you the the matrix or the original matrix so i think the first step that we can do here is we can switch row one and row zero so we can do that using the switch rows function I will name the new matrix B1. We have switch rows. So I will switch B. I will use the matrix B. And I will switch 0 and 1. So let's just check. So we have B1. So let's continue. So we have B2. So I can now use um, the add row function to to make this and this to zero so i will do that one iteratively i'll i'll start first with row one so i'll use add rows function or add row function i'll use the b1 and for the k it's negative two because this is positive two so for our i it's the row one and i will use zero row run this code and we we can check so it's now zero we can now make this one to zero also using add row function so we have b3 add row so i'll now use b2 matrix um for k it's negative one because it's positive one and this is the second row or the or row two and i'll use row zero so run the code and if you want, you can check. So now we have 0 and 0 here. Next, we can perform scale row function to make this one to 1. Or we you can switch this and this so that your leading coefficient is 1. Now, it's all up to you. What will you do? But in my case, I'll just switch row 1 and row 2. So for the fourth matrix, I'll use switch rows, switch rows function. So matrix is B3, and I will switch row 1 and row 2. So I'll run this code, and I'll check. So it's 1 here. So I'll use that one to make this 0 and 0. So I'll, I'll, uh, I'll do this one first. I'll convert this one to 0. So to do that, that is, I will use the add row function. And the matrix is B4. K is negative 2 because this is positive 2. I is row 0. And J is row 1. So you run the code and check. So it's now 0. So next is we will try to make this one to 0 using the add row function. So we have B6. Add row. I'll use the B5 matrix. K is positive 2 because this is negative 2. I is row 2. And J is row 1. So run. And we have B6. So this is 1. This is 0. This is 0. Still 0. 1. Oh, this is 0. So this is negative 2. This is 1. This is 6. This one is, it becomes negative. Let, let, we'll just check this one. Then this one is around 1, 2, so 700. And this one is around 2,100. Now I'll divide this one by 6 so that I can convert this one to 1. So I will use the scale row function. Scale row function. And the matrix is B6. 
k is 1 over 6, whereas i is row 2. So run the code and check. So we now have the new matrix. So it's 0, 1, 0, 0, 1, uh, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, and this is negative 2, 1, 1. So we need to change this and this to 0. So we will use the um, add row function. That's B8. To so add row function, I'll use the B7 matrix. K is, let's fo first start here. So it's negative 2. He, therefore, K will be positive 2. I is row 0 and J is row 2. So run the code. And if you want, you can check. It's now 0. So the last step is to change this one to 0. So we'll still use the add row um, function. So I'll, the matrix now is B8. K is negative 1 because that is positive 1. I is row 1. And J is row um, 2. So run. And you may now check. And now we have our answer. So we have 1, 1, 1. So if I am to write this one um, in an augmented matrix form, so basically this is equivalent to One zero 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 one zero 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 one, and we have our vertical line. So we have one hundred, we have three hundred fifty, and we have three hundred fifty. Therefore, from here we can say that x sub one is equal to one hundred, x sub two is equal to three hundred fifty, and x sub three is equal to three hundred fifty also. Therefore, therefore, there are 100 strain 1 bacteria three hundred fifty strain two bacteria. And a three hundred fifty strain three bacteria. So that's how we solve systems of linear equation using Python. Thank you very much for watching, and I hope you learned something. Have a good day.